Uh, hi everyone in this short video I will explain you how to use the max function or operator in CFC programming language in it within the codices environment uh, for that I already have created a project I have called it max underline CFC and I have selected CFC as the programming language that's why you see this kind of toolbox here in the programming environment uh, so to explain the usage of multiplexer I'm going to create a blinker using pulse timers and as the frequency of the blinking or the or as the width of the pulse timers I will use the multiplexer or max to determine the width in it I will provide several values and then I will choose between them by providing an integer value in it so to start I will uh, insert a box here and I will in the determine that this is going to be a pulse timer TP you can just follow this and here we have it we need to declare it as TP0 TP underline 0 let's call it and I will bring another one as well you will see why we need this uh, in few minutes and I will call it TP1 so here we have our pulse timers uh, as the next step I need to determine the PT or preset time value for these pulse timers as I already mentioned I'm going to have a set of values in it so f to select between them I will use a multiplexer or max and again I need to bring this box here this time I call it I either can call it max and then press the enter or you can just do it through here as well max look for it and then double click and we will have it here by default it has three inputs and it has one output we can connect the output of the multiplexer to the PT input of the pulse timer for the first one indeed I will show you what to do for the second one and regarding this max it receives it can receive several inputs the first input is an integer value it could be 0 1 2 and so on and so forth and based on that value one of these inputs will be selected and it will appear on the output so this means that I need an integer value here I will just use an input I will call it uh, pt underline select selecting the preset time and by default its type is integer I can initialize it with 0 and press on okay and you see that it appears here in the variable declaration area and now I can connect this to the first input of the multiplexer uh, as the preset time values I wish to have four values 500 milliseconds one second two seconds and five seconds let's say I can declare them here indeed pt underline zero one as the time variable with the initial value of 500 milliseconds I need four values so I just change this to PT0, 2, 3 and 4 and as the I need equality signs here in it as the values instead of 500 milliseconds I will have one second one second two seconds and five seconds and I need to connect them to the input of the multiplexer using this input and then here I can just uh, look for the variable PT01 this is the first preset time that I want to have then I can have it for the second one as well I can also type here PT02 
and now I, I need two more inputs for the multiplexer to do to add more inputs you just right click on the max and then here in the pins we have add input pin if I do it two times I will have these two options as well here I will have pt underline 03 and I need one more pt underline 04 so in this way based on the value of the pt select whether it's 0, 1, 2 or 3 one of these values will appear at the output of the multiplexer and it will be used as the uh, preset time value for the pass timer that we have here I want to create a blinking as the output of this pulse timer to provide the input for it I'm using another pulse timer which receives the output of the multiplexer multiplies it by 2 and uses it as the uh, preset time value for this one so here I will use a multiplexer this is how to create it the output will be connected to the PT input of the second pulse timer the first input is I'm going to connect it to the output of the multiplexer and as the second input I will determine the constant value of 2 so I just connect it and here I can simply type 2 so in this way the output of the multiplexer will be multiplied by 2 and it will appear at the output of the MUL box and it will be used as the preset time of the second pulse timer uh, I'm going to have one more input uh, just to control just to have a control yeah, whether to have pulses or not and I'm going to call it as the input command of type boolean so if this is true I will have uh, the blinking if it's false I will not have blinking I also need another box here which is indeed AND which receives its input from this input command and as the second input I'm going to provide the output of the second timer I just need to negate this input to the AND and the output of this AND now could be connected to the input of the first pulse timer and input of the second pulse timer as you can see here uh, I will let you try to understand it on your own how the pulse will be generated here by using these two pulse timers uh, you just need to to think about the way in which the pulse timer works and how it receives the input, how it generates the output and I'm going to indeed uh, run this code and show you how the multiplexer works indeed so here we are in the simulation mode I need to log in and now if I run hopefully there are no errors and no warnings in it and now since our PT select has the initial value of 0 we can see that this uh, 500 milliseconds is used here as the input value or preset value preset time value for the first timer and the preset time for the second timer is indeed 2 times 500 milliseconds which is 1 second since the input command, command is false we don't have any pass here I just click here in the prepared value then press F7 and Alt F7 and now we have uh, as the output of the first timer you can see that here we have the passes so it's 500 milliseconds true 500 milliseconds false now if I change the PT select value which is indeed here from 0 to 1 and then press F7 and Alt F7 to force it you see that the second value which is one second appears here as the preset time of the first timer 
and we have two seconds as the preset time of the second timer and now our pulse width is one second one second on, one second off I can try with two F7 and Alt F7 and now we will have two seconds here four seconds here and now the pulse here is two seconds on, two seconds off and so on and so forth and we can try it for the value of three as well just to show you that we will have five seconds here yep and the output of the multiplexer and if I provide a value bigger than three let's say ten the multiplexer will provide us the the last input in the as its output and it's somehow yeah if I go back to zero you can see that now 500 milliseconds appears here and th th this is indeed how the multiplexer uh, works uh, alright so I think that's all for this video I hope you have enjoyed it and you have learned how to use the multiplexer or MUX within the CFC programming environment and uh, on top of that you have seen how to add indeed more inputs to a box you have seen how to connect the box to each other, you have seen how to use the AND or multi uh, plier in it, MUL box, and how to negate the input of a box, which is indeed similar to how to negate the output of a box as well. Alright, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.